I'm sorting the, the Hall of Max, and see that pile of Max right there? Those are Max that are just about expired. The last minute process. We got day jobs. We can't be sorting Max on a Tuesday. Goodness, no. <laughs> that we have here. These are Max that are like bored, like expiring this week. Oh. We have June, okay? July, mm. August, September, October, November, and then January. We have to do, mm. uh... We have to do things from this pile. I mean, some of these, like, we already did this dial one. This goes into back track? No, it does <laughs> This is also where I, this is also where I'm storing all the interesting boxes too. I don't know why some of these were saved. Some of these Macs, Frankie, that are about to expire are extremely interesting, like this Icelandic Mac. But we gotta eat it. I was teased in the Christmas one. You pulled it out of the mailbox. I know I did. It expires in in, in 06 of 2016, not even a day. But we have all those Macs. All right, I'll, I'll figure this out. Don't, let me just, just give me some space. This poor craft Dinner. Now we gotta What's do, design? we gotta clean out the craft Dinner. So I'm gonna put those <laughs> as high priority. Oh, jeez. Anything rare needs to go first. Well, what's rare by Frankie Stuff in the craft Dinner? <laughs> We did that crap. Hospitality we've done. We never did a, a Horizon There's actually organic. a few Horizons over here. We might need to do a Horizon show. But there's only two of them, Frankie. Right? Two Max does not make a show. Is it's this thing four. about to expire? It is long it's expired. Right? We've been teasing that thing. I know. May 7th, I'm sorry. But I also don't have any Let's beef. Do Let's do it. I don't have any beef. There's a supermarket up the street. We're gonna have to go buy beef? Mm. I think we did that shells and white cheddar from... That box of Loretta is getting thrown out, let me tell you. You tell me what an expired Loretta tastes like. No, let's do a first sort. We gotta sort things we've already done. What is that? Oh, Southwest? We could do- We, we should we, do a spicy show frame. Ooh. We could do the bowls, and um, there's two spicy uh, box mags. Right. We did this, right? This yeah, a long gone, Trader Joe's. And look, he's a craft dinner whole wheat. We need oh, another craft dinner show. And we could do crafts that we've never tried. So yeah, you do spicy and then crafts we've spicy? never tried. Spicy, okay. Oh, fresh finds, that's interesting. Somebody sent that to us. That was, uh, I don't know who, but I have another fresh find somewhere around here. We've done Safeway, we've done Wacky Mac. We haven't done this, this Icelandic one. You don't want to lump it in with the craft ends. Okay, From so faraway lands. <laughs> From the north. It's an EJ Reviews crossover. <laughs> Max of the north. Your Mac um, has ended. Didn't we do Psst Brand? Yes, yes. yes. Like yes. three times. Well, there's there's three shows. I see a Key Foods Deluxe. All right, I think we are, we're in a better state. Except for these sad Max. It's a month out of date. It's not really all that expired. And it's it's still perfectly edible. I think we should start with the... No, not start with the spicy. Right now, I just want to be clear. The, the decision-making process has nothing to do with the show. He's deciding which one he wants to eat first. That's on exactly. An empty, <laughs> on an empty That's song. That's 100% right. <laughs> when are you going to possibly air this clip? It'll have to, like, go... Because you're going to spoil all the episodes we're going to do for, like, five weeks. That's fine. <laughs> Frankie, we're, we're coming up upon a situation. Yeah. We've got Macs that are about to expire, so we're going to have some special shows that are focused on those expiring Macs, but they also have a secondary theme. This week's particular theme is craft dinners and I don't know what the theme is. Did uh, I unbox Mac? <laughs> Macs from the north. There's, oh, there's that's th the three theme? from Canada, right. one from Iceland. Let's try it again. Frankie, we have Macs that are from places north of here. Did I unbox Mac? We've got the last three craft dinners that Adam bought us right. last year. Right. And also we've got this Icelandic Mac, which we've been kind of teasing for a long time, haven't we? So where, where did this come from? A friend of mine, uh, Dan, went to Iceland and he actually bought it back for us. Right. We have a, a Japanese one by my coworker who went on vacation. Maybe what we should have done was a, a coworkers who went on vacation and got us Max. Maybe episode. that would have been kind of fun. But today is the, the 14th of May, 2016, year of our Noodle. And this Mac has already expired. I, I hate to I say. I think all of them did. 16 March uh, 22. So March 22nd. Mm, Yikes. January 10th. Mm. And it's whole wheat. So yeah. I'm not going to know what about it sucks. <laughs> March 21st. And this one we got some time. This one is uh, is June. You know anything about Iceland? Uh, it's icy. It's not as big as it seems on maps. I've known a few people who have visited. I'm told it's a beautiful place. Yeah, I'm told it's very nice. I believe a lot of Game of Thrones is shot there. Is it? Or some of? I didn't know that. Or is it just uh, Scotland? I don't know. Am I making stuff up? <laughs> if you did need to shoot a mystical fantasy world, sure. you might do it in Iceland. When we were reviewing movies from the, from the 
film festival, there was one that was shot completely in Iceland. Yeah, and it, and it wasn't very good. Well, the movie wasn't. The the, 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 the scenery, scenery was, was lovely. It was a movie about two people who wake up and they're the yeah. last people on Earth. I've never heard that idea before. Ever. I suppose shooting that in Iceland makes sense. Yeah. Well, you can't just change the scenery and expect me to smile. What am I supposed to do? At this point, are we excited about Craft Dinner at all? Look, I've been excited about this Sharp Cheddar one for a long time. I've actually wanted to do it on a couple of shows and you keep shooting me down. I was gonna actually go for this KD Sharp Cheddar. Sharp Cheddar? Why? It's been sitting in my kitchen and I want to eat it. I wanted to do this in place of that ketchup mac, if you remember, because we had the Canada cleanup. That's right, what it was. Right. I don't even remember asking Adam to bring this one unless somebody else sent us this and I'm just an incompetent fool, which that I could be, I, No, that could be. No, it could be from What's Her Face, from Heather. From Heather, yeah, who yeah. sent us the us KD Smart. We are reaching critical mass with, with the uh, the send-ins. We don't know who sent in what. If we mix them into the Hall of Max, we're it's gonna a big get, problem. We're gonna get better at that. I promise we won't get better at that. Okay. All right. I've been keeping them in their boxes. That's all That's I a do. good thing to do. Yeah. Uh, Frankie, we gotta pick which is gonna go in the rapid. And I think it should probably be the whole wheat because it's gonna suck. Yeah, I've been eating differently. Yes. I've been eating Nutritarian for, uh, as of Monday, six weeks. So yes. I'm a vegan right now. Uh, like your deal wife, Nina. Right, no added sugar. Uh -huh. Very limited oils and that sort of thing. So really mostly what I'm eating are veggies and seeds yep. and nuts. I can have some whole grains, just not a lot. Yeah. So I, the only pasta I eat these days is, is whole grain pasta. Really? Certainly not with any kind of uh, sauce. It's normally is with spinach or with mushrooms. Yep. Your palate does change. When you only get to eat what I get to eat, when pasta shows up in any form, it's yep. very exciting. For you, the deal is I'll eat what's in the sample bowl and then that's it, and I'm done. These are the rules, folks. Today we have three pot. We're in a three pot configuration. Three P. And two pots are boiling, roiling, toiling, schmoiling. <laughs> uh, well, there's one pot in the back. It, oh no, it's boiling, it's doing okay. He wanted to make the case that that burner is slower, which I'm sure it is. It is, it's a small burner, but it's also a small pot. Uh, what are you doing, Frank? I'm trying to achieve something cinematic. You know, we've had craft dinners in the past. They always <laughs> sure. point us to KD Smart, and the trend continues in two, of, two out of three of these. Well, that ain't bad. The spicy does not point us to the KD Smart. What is that saying? Um, stick with me. Maybe you can mac all night. We haven't sung that before. We definitely should. Ooh, if we do a meatloaf add-in episode, we can- Oh, that would be good. Meatloaf is actually delicious in mac. I'm gonna put this in the medium pot. The sharp in the medium pot. Sharp in the medium pot. Sharp in the medium pot. The spicy in the small pot. <laughs> Keep going. Spicy in the small pot. <laughs> spicy in the small pot. Yeah. Spicy, you gotta do it four times. Iceland in the big pot. And wrap it in the whole wheat. <laughs> No, that's not right at all. The other way. <laughs> whole wheat in the rapid. It works better in the other way. Whole wheat in the rapid mac. Yeah. yeah whole, whole wheat in, in the, the rapid, rapid mac. mac. Yeah. There was some hope that maybe by eating this way, I like I'd get sick if I ate, you know, I'd be like Alex from Clockwork Orange. Somebody would give me some mac and I'd be like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's gonna be good. You look back at old episodes where I'm making fun of the crunchy folks, but I, I shop in the crunchy section. I, and is your is your plan to continue with this? I'm losing weight. I lost 15 pounds. Well, gonna sure, keep, sure. Gonna keep it keep it roiling. You actually like the food I'm eating more than I do. I do. I don't really like any of the food I'm eating. The goal here is to not enjoy food anymore. But like, it seems like such a sad way to live your life. Well, you just have to like do other things to make you happy, you know. Hug a child. Hug a child. How many children do you hug on a monthly basis? <laughs> None. Well, it would only be Emily's kids. Yeah. So. That's, oh, that's not true. I have nephews. And you give them hugs? They don't normally want much to do with me. Yeah. A three-year-old, a, a two-year-old, and now an infant. Those are very huggable ages. He just doesn't want to. All right. It's fine. I didn't want to either. I mean, like, like when I was his age, I didn't want to. Oh, I see. I see. When you were three, you didn't like hugs. Yeah, especially like weird uncles. Weird Uncle Mac. Weird Uncle Mac. You making any noise over there? Uh, I'm trying to make a little more. <laughs> I can do that, so that helps. There's nutrition information here. Oh, fine, I'll drag the nutrition information. This Mac's okay? <laughs> that one's great. They're all perfectly identical. Have you ever had a spicy craft variety? Yes, I've had the US one, uh, spicy chipotle. Uh, this one is actually quite a bit worse for you, uh, the Icelandic one, because it has full butter. It has American style uh, butter prep. I don't read Icelandic and this has no English directions. Can I give it a shot? 60 milliliters of milk and 60 grams of margarine. I don't know what how many grams of margarine are in a 60. Scamter Fura 2, yeah. Bjorks from Iceland? 
Sure, yeah. and I like Bjork. I, I used to like her music when I was in high school. The only one that comes to mind is this one, which is like 42 steps, or 100 and something steps, and she just speaks softly in the background. One, <laughs> two, three, four. And then every so often she'll sing one like, like 34, 52. What the hell is that? It's a great song, you'll have to check it out and put a clip in here. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. It's from her movie. You ever see Bjork's movie? Probably not. Yes, Dancer in the Dark. How did you know that, AJ? Somebody's a Bjork fan. Her and Sinead O'Connor, I guess, right? <laughs> oh, Frankie, I'm not even ready with the, the things and the things are already thinging. Well, you gotta get on it. Talk to the audience while I noodle. I, I don't know two of the words on the front of this box. Well, it's, it's piece is spicy. Spicy a piece? I, mean, I think we covered this before. Everything has to be in both languages. Oh, of course. It's, so the it's French. So I'm sorry, I thought it was just further description. But cheddar's not in French Canadian. Spilling enough of that? Look, I'm trying to get it done quick because the box is going to overboil. <laughs> Dude, take it easy. Will you just take it easy? Calmer than you are. Look at how beautiful the color is on this. Frankie, could you stir that one while I get these uh, other ones sure, going here? Sure, I need a spoon. A spoon, a spoon for you. A spoon from York. Have a piece of pee. Would you like a hot piece of pee? It's on the hoose. Has anybody on the planet gotten this much use out of a Rapid Mac? I don't think so, Frankie. Like I say, I think we have tested way more Macs in it now. Should I email them again and be like, listen, we seriously use your product. I don't know if their product's really around anymore. It's kind of like phased away. We still need to do a show about uh, whether or not- It's just a plastic bowl. Right. And I have a suspicion that it might just be a plastic bowl. You're buying the, the license to this idea. This is a lovely noodle. That is a lovely noodle. A sharp. Sharp cheddar. Wow, that's very gonna be nice. the best one. Even this um, spicy one has a very nice pasta with ridged elbows. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. So this Iceland one, it's too thick. I'm gonna have to add a little bit more milk. We used to be a lot more scientific where we were like, hey, if the box says this, we got to do it, but Look, you know what? Time, We're trying to give each one of these Macs a fair shot. If right. I was cooking in this Mac at home, I would throw in a little bit more milk. Right. I have a spoon situation, Frankie. I don't have three spoons. I'm uh, gonna have to use this spatula, because I don't want to cross-contaminate. I mean, that would just be a tragedy. How y'all doing on the art contest? You submitting stuff by now? Yeah, let's get organized We've got here. three interesting colors here. I want to take a moment. That's a sharp cheddar, which I think looks like the best one of the batch. Yeah. Icelandic, which doesn't look good at all. It looks um like, like it's kind of discolored, like kind of a white, pale orange. And also, it does have kind of a thick this problem might be good. The spicy looks pretty good. It's light in color. And it was mixed with a spatula. And actually this whole wheat one looked pretty good. Nice color. You can't really see that, that whole wheat brownness in the noodles. The Icelandic one really needed some extra milk. I have to add quite an extra bit. So when you're in the supermarket, don't get the Icelandic one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what should we try first, Frankie? Icelandic to give it like the, the best shot? Sure. It's not bad. It's okay. It's actually really good. I think the cheese is a little toned low. A little toned low, but it's a good cheese, and yep. uh, it's got a nice buttery flavor, and the pasta is pretty good. Yeah. Shame on me for disparaging Iceland. Riley, this is starting to freak me out. I don't, I don't get it. It actually held together pretty well, too. I kind of expected it to separate really bad. A minus. You sure that's not just the Nutritarian speaking? All right, fine, we'll go spicy. This looks very nice, I love the pasta. Spicy, good pasta, but uh, It does yeah. have a spicy scent. It does. Great pasta. Very nice bite. The spice is really nice. It is, it's subtle. It's not like over, it's not beating you down with the spice and you can still taste the cheese. Mm, I bet those Canadian freaks would have thrown ketchup all over this thing. Would have tasted just like ketchup. A piece of crap Zach would have thrown ketchup all over them. <laughs> this is what probably Kraft's best box pasta I've had. That's a statement. All right, whole wheat, let's whole give it a go. Wheat. Whole wheat. Well, it's not very good. No. It's the cheese bland. Is, is so bland. The pasta is a little bit better than your run of the mill whole wheat. Poor Heather, she eats this and the smart KD. Man, that was a sad life. I can't say I care for that one at all. Very bland, very bland. All right, the sharp cheddar. Very nice noodles, though not quite as nice as the spicy. Not as good as I hoped. No, it's okay. I think that the spicy was actually the best of the batch, though. Um, yeah, or, or the Icelandic. I really like the Icelandic. And they all got the same amount of butter between the three craft dinners. The spicy one was way more, more kind of creamy, but I guess that makes sense because it's, it's a serving less. I had really high hopes for that sharp, and it really didn't pan out. I mean, I don't want to throw into question that the date might have had something to do with that, but... No, I don't think so. I taste nothing about these that I taste, say, as no. like old date. No. And they're only like a month and a half out. As you said last time, a dry food should keep its date a little bit longer. Yes, not, not two years. But not we two established years. that. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of spicy, I mean, we got a kind of a taste of spicy here. And we haven't really done spicy on the show. No, we've 40, got a, a 40 some episodes. Full fledged spicy ep with um, four big offerings from Velveeta and Kraft. That's going to be next time on Box Mac. 
we referenced the Canada Cleanup Show, so here's a relevant link to it. Then, watch the pilot to our new series, Junt vs. the Winter Moths, in which Junt fights off poop with sticky wax. Enjoy. Enjoy.